Hello and welcome to the Weekly News Show. I'm Leon and this is Louise. Hello. Coming up this week, we finally get the third update on what Bungie has in store for Destiny's future. The Division outlines its big game-changing update. But first, we take a look at the five things you need to know about Uncharted 4 A Thief's End. It's been a big week for Uncharted 4. I've played With, it. Whatever, we've seen more open levels, jeeps, a very Far Cry style level of combat as Drake tags enemies and scouts bases before breaking a few <coughs> necks. So here's five things you need to know. There are hub areas. Where Uncharted has been linear in the past, the latest game has more open levels where you can decide on your style of play. Everything from the usual cover-based murder fest to more stealthy approaches or even running people over in the jeep. It plays like Far Cry. There are guards with attention meters and ability to tag enemies, making it feel very like a trip to Karat, as Drake sneaks through tall grass and takes down bases without raising alarms, if you're lucky. The Jeep's great. The new car doesn't feel tacked on at all and is perfectly balanced to swing around in the mud. There's also a winch to hoist yourself up hills and pull structures down. Everyone is smarter this time. The new open levels mean the enemies now have sharper AI to hunt you down in any direction, while companions like Sully and Nate's brother Sam have learned from Ellie in The Last of Us and really help Nate out when he's in trouble. Donut Drake is out. Uncharted's comedy multiplayer skin won't be returning for Nate's last hurrah after Neil Druckmann said he didn't want to have a laugh at someone else's expense. Now, don't forget, if you have thoughts on this or anything else in this week's show, you can get in touch via Twitter at shiny underscore demon, at Leon Hurley, or even at GamesRadar. Now, in other news, if you're playing an illegal copy of Quantum Break on PC, Jackal Don and I patch complete with skull and crossbones. Arr. Neil Druckmann says The Last of Us 2 prototypes will be resurrected once Uncharted 4's DLC is done. And a new PlayStation update means you can now play PS4 games on PC and Mac using remote play. Quick, dismantle everything. In the division? Yeah, so Ubisoft is releasing a huge update for the division on April the 12th, and that includes nerfing the value of your deconstructed items. Yep, taking to bits a standard item will now return one standard piece of material instead of two, and it's the same with high-end items, so take everything to pieces now before the changes arrive. Also included in the update is a new gear score, which is a bit like pre-taken King Destiny. If you're a level 30 agent, you'll be able to find items that will add to a separate gear score that will appear next to your health bar. The more high scoring gear you find, the more powerful your equipment is, and that number will go up. And yes, this means that some end game challenges will require a minimum gear score for you to take part, so get hunting. Next week also brings the first of the new gear sets, where if you collect all four items and equip them, then you'll get a unique perk. Also included in the new update is the first ever incursion, a four player raid like mission called Falcon Lost, for high level players, so around level 30, which apparently even the lead designer hasn't completed yet. You have some serious opinions when it comes to this update. Eric Mering on Facebook isn't pulling any punches. They're doing the same thing that helped kill the player base off after the Destiny Crota's End expansion. I already have a hard enough time just getting a few crafting parts because I don't play for 12 hours a day. Dizon Rentira Johnson adds this will make crafting pointless and not worth the time or effort. And finally, Joseph Johnson shares everyone's pain, saying, I want there to be a middle finger emoji because of this. Actually, there is. Shh, shh, shh. Bungie has finally given us the last details on what to expect from Destiny's April game-changing update, and there are some pretty cool mechanics being smacked lightly with the tweak hammer. For starters, you now have to get closer to save down teammates. Sprint Revive is a thing of the past, and Overshield will be weaker. Trials of Osiris has also had a stacked revive system added, so it will take 7 seconds to revive a player the first time they die, 14 the second time, and 21 for a third. The idea is to introduce a little more risk to rescuing your friends. There's also new rewards. The Crucible will drop more legendaries, and there'll be more ways to earn 300 35 light level gear, such as a Lord Shack's bounty and from the Trials of Osiris Mercury chest. The Iron Banner will now only drop Iron Banner gear, but you're guaranteed a level 320 Ghost and Artifact if you reach rank 5. Weapons are also seeing big changes, and given how touchy people are around buffs and nerfs, that is bound to be fun. Sniper rifle zooms will be lengthened to push them out of close range use, hand cannons will get higher ammo capacity, auto rifle fire rates are getting evened out, while pulse rifles are getting both a damage and stability increase. And finally, Warlock subclasses will see some changes, with Stormcaller's landfall no longer breaking through a Titan's Ward of Dawn defence. Sunsinger's flame shield is being weakened, and Voidwalkers are getting a boost overall. That's all we have time for, see you next week. See ya.